Welcome back to CBS This Morning. We're going to begin with this. Mike Bloomberg, one of the world's richest people, is pushing back against claims that he wants to buy the Democratic presidential nomination. We spoke to him about that. It was his first TV interview since he joined the 2020 race last month. In our exclusive conversation, the former New York City mayor also discussed his plan to fight gun violence. We met him in Aurora, Colorado yesterday afternoon, where he addressed that issue with the community that has lost 12 people in a shooting rampage back in 2012. We're in Colorado, Mayor, because you chose this place to launch your big uh, gun initiative. And I'm wondering, as I sat there looking at the families, hearing the families, because they have heard this before, we're going to do it, we're going to get it done, there will be some changes. Why do you think you're different this time? I understand the problem. You have to go and look at the victims before you can really understand what they're going through, the emotional problems they have, the financial problems. Somebody in your family gets killed. How do you take care of everybody? Who's going to take care of the kids? Who pays for the funeral? Part of the answer is you got to go out and look at the problem rather than just talk about it in an academic sense. You've got to be able to go to the legislature and convince them, at least argue with them, at least ask, ask them to participate and say, look, Here's why you should do it. It's leadership, and we don't seem to have that when it comes to guns. You had the NRA, which was the leader. The NRA has basically been beaten. We've gone, and they've lost most of their funding sources. Their top management is in chaos. You think you can work with the NRA? No, but I don't think... I think you can avoid the NRA, you, or you can beat them. So you intend to work around the NRA, is what you're saying? Well, I think you just don't pay... You just don't make much of the NRA. You don't have to go talk to them at all. Well, it would be no surprise to you that your fellow candidates are not so glad to see you get in. Elizabeth Warren suggested you're trying to buy the election. Bernie Sanders says, as a billionaire, you can run even the dumbest person on the earth and pay for it. You see what they're all getting here, well, the no, point saying, they're all making. I, I, yeah, the point they're making is it's got a okay lot of money. if they... No. What the point they're making is it's okay if they ask other people for all their money and it will help their careers. Whereas if somebody goes out and makes the money themselves and gives it away, I give an enormous, virtually all my income goes to public health issues and education and the arts and the environment, things that I care about. And I think I could do a lot of good for the country if I could become president. And so using some of those monies to fund the campaign is fine. What but is I don't true think we is, should look, miss the my, point, Mayor. Wait a second, tell me. My yeah. father made $6,000 the best year of his life. I don't come from money. Nobody gave me a head start. I had my parents gave me the, an education in the public school system in, in, in Medford, Massachusetts. And they taught me ethics and they taught me hard work. I worked my way through college and then I worked for 15 years. I got fired. I started a company. The company turned out to be phenomenally successful. No, and Much you've better. been very successful. And I give 100% of the money away. What's wrong with all of that? And then I turn and they're criticizing me for it. I don't know. Ask them what they're doing. Why didn't they do that? They had a chance to go out and make a lot of money. And, and how much of their own money do they put into their campaigns? But I, I think the point that they're making and a lot of people are making is you're a, a billionaire who is buying this election. What is your response to that? I'm not buying any more. I'm doing exactly the same thing they're doing, except that I am using my own money, they're using somebody else's money, and those other people expect something from them. Nobody gives you money if they don't expect something, and I don't want to be bought. I want to get to a couple of personal issues, because you would be the first modern-day single president, but we all know in New York uh, you are not an eligible bachelor. Your significant other, Diana Taylor, is a very accomplished, highly respected, highly admired woman. Would she be our de facto first lady? Is she playing a role in your campaign? Um, she's playing a role in the campaign, number one. Number two, we've only been living together for 19 years, and I think it's fair if I can speak for her as well. Neither of us have any plans to change. Uh, living together. We would Do you all think about getting married? Not a subject I'm going to discuss with you, dear. <laughs> well, I am curious. I didn't know it had been that long. Okay. You didn't answer... But it only seems like half that length of time. <laughs> but you didn't answer the question, would she be our de facto first lady? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Who is the real Mike Bloomberg? I was thinking, you were a Democrat, then you were a Republican, then you were an Independent, and now you're a Democrat. Who are you? 
I am a social liberal, fiscal moderate who is basically nonpartisan. I grew up as a Democrat in Massachusetts. There are no Republicans. I moved to New York where I was a Democrat. There are no Republicans. I couldn't become mayor uh, on the Democratic line. The Republicans said, well, you can run as a Republican. In New York City, the mayor's job is not a partisan job, so mm -hmm. I did. But you could have voted me on a different line. We have a complicated system. But don't you system. think most of America is in the middle, that most people are centrist? I do believe that most of the, of the public is in the middle. But I think it is most people would say whether they like my views or not, they would say he's at least honest and genuine, probably say smart, but not everybody would agree with that. But I think they'd all say hardworking and honest. Hardworking and honest, everybody that knows him definitely says that. In the words yeah. of that great philosopher, Tiffany Haddish, he ready. Yeah. He, he ready. Yeah. I mean, he's ready for the fight. He's up for it. He says he's a people person. I said, I never thought of you really as a people person. He goes, yeah, I'm very much a people person. He likes being out there on the yeah. campaign trail. He knows there's issues that are going to come up. We talked to him for over 40 minutes. Yeah. And you know, those were big chunks that you saw this morning, but there's so much more to the conversation. It's gonna exactly. be, he's going to add a lot to the race. It's going to be interesting to see it's not how be this easy. all shakes Gun out. Gun control is a very tough issue. It's a very he knows it's not easy, but you know what he said, Tony? He said, even if I don't win this nomination... This is something that I'm going to focus on, that I'm going to work on, and I'm going to make a change. He feels that strongly and that passionately. About well, we've it. talked this about this before, but <clears throat> Mike Bloomberg doesn't enter a race if he think, if exactly. he doesn't think there's a path to right, win it. Right. So he's obviously seen numbers that makes him believe exactly. that he could win. And he's obviously heard about support that he can receive from people that yeah. haven't said who that is, yep. both Democrats and Republicans. So it's a, it adds an interesting dynamic to this campaign. Right. You can hear more of our conversation with Mike Bloomberg. As I mentioned... We talked for over 40 minutes, so there is a lot there there on today's CBS This Morning podcast. The candidate discusses the Democratic debates, what he would look for in a vice presidential candidate. He's got some ideas about that. His health, he says he's feeling good. Listen wherever you get your podcasts.